Hello and welcome to the second time briefing. I'm Teki with the top five social and economic events for this week. Almost 2,000 people joined Ho Chi Minh City Metro Chatburn. Banks allowed to reschedule debt. Ho Chi Minh City tests COVID-19 measures during public holiday. New FDI approvals down in January to April. Airfare for upcoming holiday plunge. The third test run of Metro Line Number no. One, which link Bernhard Market and Shooting Team Park, attracted roughly 2,000 people on April 26. The trial was jointly housed by Ho Chi Minh City Management Authority for Urban Railways (MAUR) and Japan Hitachi, the Metro Project's constructor, for its status and dynamic testing. In the trial, there were six runs, with each handling 300 passengers. It took the city one meter turns around 20 minutes to travel on a 12-kilometer session through a station between Suting Team Park and Ang Phu Depot to the city. According to the MAUR, the Bantan Suting Rail Loss is currently 95% complete. The urban railways which start its construction in 2012 with a total cost of 43.7 trillion Vietnam domes. It is bastards to be put into service by the end of this year. Bank can now raise scheduled debt owned by corporate clients, according to the new circular issued by the State Bank of Vietnam SPV. Circular O2, which is in force until June 30, 2024, permits banks to extend debt repayment and keep debt classification and chance for debtors who are struggling to repay loans. This paid a way for banks to have resources to lend. Local banks and foreign banks branches are required to review a state state of debtor and make decisions regarding the debt repayment terms, provided the delays doesn't surpass 12 months from the due date. Meanwhile, banks are required to make credit spread provisions for the debts they extend. The new circular, which comes out on April 24, is expected to express hurdles faced by individuals and corporations, shorten operating cycle, and make access to new loan easier, according to the SBV. The Ho Chi Minh City Health Department has now 55 COVID-19 vaccination centers which stay open during the long weekend holiday. From April 29 to May 5, People aged over 18 in the city can come to the vaccination center from half past 7 to half past 11 a.m. and from 1 p.m. to 4 p.m. Given the recent increase in the new COVID infections, the department says that the 1,800 best COVID field hospital number 13 in Benjen District is ready to resume operation. The facility will be activated if the Ho Chi Minh City Hospital for Tropical Diseases receive more than 50 severe COVID cases. The city has 10 COVID-19 experts on standby to give professional support to hospitals in need. The department repairs to a hospital with approximately 2,000 vials of remdesivir, a COVID-19 antiviral produced by the global pharmaceutical company Milan, a unit of the United States Pfizer in Ho Chi Minh City. Recently, Sencovir is the Vietnam's first traditional medicine for treatments of the coronavirus disease to be licensed for circulation nationwide by the Ministry of Health from April 12 this year. Fresh foreign direct investment FDI approvals nationwide in the years to April 30 has reached nearly 8.9 billion US dollar, down 17.9 percent against the year ago period, according to the Foreign Investment Agency at the Ministry of Planning and Investment. There were 750 new FDI projects registered during the period with a total plus capital of 4.1 billion US dollar. An additional 1.6 billion US dollar were ingested into 386 operational FDI projects during the period. In addition, foreign investors got involved in 1,044 mergers and acquisitions worth a total of 3.1 billion US dollar. The processing and manufacturing industry accounted for half of the country's first FDI capital between January and April, drawing roughly 5.1 billion US dollars. The Financial and banking services came second with 1.5 billion US dollar or 17% of the total. The real estate sector ran third with 972 million US dollars. Hanoi topped the country in terms of new FDI capital in the January to April period, totaling over 1.1 billion US dollars. Domestic airfare for the upcoming holiday has significantly dropped compared to the last week level, with many flights seeing a reduction of 25 to 30% in ticket prices. 
Bridges Air has announced to revise their airfare for the Hanoi Ho Chi Minh City route, departing on April 29 and returning on May 3 with the lowest price around 3 million Vietnam dollars per trip, that's 25% against April 14. Meanwhile, with Travel Airlines is offering the lowest fare of over 3.5 million Vietnam dollars per trip, down nearly 30%. Airfare for life to domestic tourist destinations like Da Nang, Nha Trang, and Phu Quoc have fallen deeply. However, most of the flights are fully booked. The Civil Aviation Authority of Vietnam previously decided to increase aircraft movement at the Tân Sơn Nhất International Airport to meet the rising travel demand during the April 30th and May 1st holiday and summer vacation. Tân Sơn Nhất will have an additional 26 slots per day from April 28th to May 3rd and from June 1st to August 15th. With more slots, Vietnamese carrier will be able to provide an additional 4,500 to 5,000 seats per day. And that's all from us for now. Thank you and see you next week.